Hello everyone, I am your Mandarin teacher Tanya. In the last video, I introduced the rhythm of Mandarin. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the stress in Mandarin when speaking. Every language has its own unique stress patterns. When we stress different parts of a word or sentence, it can change the meaning conveyed and also affect how the listening interprets it. So, Understanding stress patterns is crucial for us. In Mandarin, we can determine stress from components of a sentence, from disyllabic words to trisyllabic words, and then to elements like subjects, predicates, and tones. Let's start by examining how we determine stress within words. For disyllabic words, we divide the two syllables into median stressed and stressed positions. Dyslabic words are the most common type in Mandarin, so pay attention. You can follow along with me. Bing xiang, bang mang, da rao, gao xing, lu yo, ke neng, kai shi, kao shi. Another possibility of dyslabic words is where the first syllable is stressed and the second is light. Only a few disyllabic words follow this pattern. You can follow along with me. Dongxi, Chuanghu, Luoba, Shi Ho, Zhen Tou, Ni Men, Gao Su, Gu Shi. Next, let's look at trisyllabic words. There are three possible stress patterns. The first possibility is where the first syllable is medium stressed and the middle syllable is light. And the last syllable is stressed. Let's read some examples. Shou Ying Ji, Xin Jia Po, Hao Lai Wu, Dian Shi Ju. The second possibility is where the first syllable is medium stressed, the second syllable is stressed, and the third syllable is light. There are many words with this pattern. Let's read some examples. Hu luo ba, mei guan xi, lao hu li, mao hai zi. The third possibility is stressed with light and light. This pattern is very rare and often occurs in spoken language. For example, 什么的, 怪不得, 姑娘家, 好着呢? Lastly, let's talk about quadrisyllabic words. There are two possibilities. The first type is quadrisyllabic words without a neutral tone. The stress is usually on the fourth syllable. Many words and Chen Yu in Mandarin follow this pattern. For example, Gong Gong Qi Che, Gao Su Gong Lu, Ming Sheng Gu Ji, Ai Bu Shi Shou. The second type of quadrisyllabic words has a neutral tone in the second syllable and stress on the first syllable. These words are often adjectives. Examples, Duo Duo Su Su. 晃晃悠悠,磨磨唧唧,噼里啪啦 There are many words in life with these patterns. Looking forward to you discovering them. After watching this video, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to leave me comments. My italki teacher page is in the comments. If you are interested in learning Mandarin with me, please contact me. See you next time.